Thank you. Okay, so it's 11 o'clock. I'm going to start the work class. And first of all, I'm going to explain the topic. We are going to check the exercises. And then I have a new for you. Okay, so I'm going to start sharing the screen with you. And then we're going to check exercise and all that that belongs for today. But first of all, we're going to start checking the topic that belongs for today. Right? Thank you. Thank you so much, Jess. Never is late. Thank you. I'm going to share the screen with you. So just let me some seconds. It's over here. Remember that if this one stops for any reason, I'm going to restart the conference, right? But don't go away. I'm going to be here. If something got, I don't know, this connector or something like that, don't forget that I will restart the conference, okay? It over here, thank you. So, first of all, we are going to start uh, talking about present perfect and the words that can uh, share or that can be sharing with these kind of sentences. I am just checking that this one is working. Okay, perfect. Because I am afraid that this one got disconnected. So, first of all, if you remember, we are working with present perfect. And we have to say that present perfect is just to express something that starts in the past. We don't know exactly when it happened, but it can help me to know the period of time, maybe that an action lasts, right? The present perfect helped me to uh, know an action, sorry, <coughs> that starts in the past. We don't know exactly when the action finished and uh, maybe the action continue, right? The difference between present perfect and simple past is that in present perfect, uh, we don't have expressions of time. We can have some auxiliary words that can help me to guess the time, but I'm not sure about it. While the simple past has some words as last day or last Saturday or last week or two years ago or, I don't know, yesterday, or maybe the, the year exactly when it happened, that it's in 1990s, as example, or something like that, right? In present perfect, can be formed by the auxiliary have or has, according to the subject, for he, she, or it, we use has, and for a, you, we, and they, we use have, and then the past participle of the verb, right? If we wanted to make negative sentences, we just attach not to the word have or has, and we have hasn't or haven't in the past participle. And if we have question form, we place have or has at the beginning of our sentences, then we have the subject, then the past participle, and then the rest of my sentence. These kind of questions can be answered just by yes or no. But in this case, uh, when we use present perfect also, we can attach ever to the question to know if you experience that at least once in your life. And we have never to replace the negative sentence, right? Instead of having not, you can use never and that word will help us to understand that your sentence is negative. Also, we can find the word already, yet, and just. This is the topic that belongs for today. Which is the difference between using already, yet, and just? So first of all, when we use the word already, we are talking that we have done that activity, but we don't have a specific time, right? It happened maybe once or twice in your life, but we don't know exactly when it happened. So it's that just to express that you did that activity in any time. When you have the word yet, it helps us to know that you have the plan to do it, but at this moment, you didn't do it, right? 
the difference between already and yet is that you think already it's uh, just for affirmative sentences and also can help us to know that you have did don't sorry that activity or that you did that activity but we don't know exactly the time when it happened while when we use yet can help us to know that you have the plan to do that activity but at the moment you didn't do it you plan to do it but at the moment you didn't do it right and when we have the word just we know that we recently did that activity we don't know exactly when but can help me to have an idea that it's closer than i guess right as example we have just start the conference that means that it happened just two or three minutes ago we don't have a specific time but we know that it's recently The difference between already and just is that already can be in any time, right? But recently done, we have the word just. Now, how can we place the words that help me to have an idea about it? We have the word just to express an action that happened very recently. That means that it happened just two or three minutes ago, as I told you, right? It's something that happened recently. We don't have a specific time, but because if we have a specific time, we were talking about simple past, but we can have an idea that happened recently, right? And over here, we can find that the word just, it's going to be placed after the auxiliary have or has and before the past participle of my sentences. Okay, and it works for affirmative sentences. It says that Maria has just finished her work, means that it's not so long that this happened. They have just come from the supermarket and it has just started raining. We don't change the verbs and auxiliary. We just placed the word just between them, between has or have and just, okay? Then... We have the word already. So the word already also works for affirmative sentences, but it's more flexible, right? Already uh, expresses action that have finished before we expect it. Okay, so they work for affirmative sentences, and we know that it happened before as we expect, but it's not recently, right? It's just in the past but we don't know exactly when and can react or can support the affirmative sentences over here it says i have already done my homework or i have done my homework already already can work in the middle of my sentence as just between have or have has sorry and the past participle of the verb or can work at the end of my sentences. Both sentences are correct, okay? It's better if you use it between him, but it's okay, right? We don't have a problem if you place it at the end of your sentence. The structure, the grammatical structure is correct. Over here it says also they have already read the book or they have read that book already, right? So we can place it between have or has and the past participle, or also we can place it at the end of my sentence, just in affirmative sentence. And we have the word yet. So the word yet can work in a question form or can work in a negative sentences. So over here, yet is used to express something that you plan to do or maybe that you didn't do but you have the plan to do it, right? Over here it says, have you eaten at Friday's yet? So that means that you expect that that person can do that activity, right? Over here it says, I haven't been to Europe yet. So I didn't visit Europe, but I want to do it and I plan to do it, right? You will do it in the future. We don't know exactly when, but you will do it. 
Has Matilda been to New York yet? That means that you are asking if that situation happened already or not. Have you started for the test yet? That means also that you expect that that, that, that happened, sorry, but you know you are not sure that this one happened, right? And finally, it says that Juan hasn't proposed to Jenny yet. So the word yet helped me to understand that that action didn't happen before, but it will happen in a future, right? You explain to do it. Over here, we have simple present sentences or imperative sentences or modal sentences. And we have over here the kinds of auxiliary that we can use. Over here, it says that he has just arrived. That means that that happened some minutes ago. I have just painted that the action happened recently. I can see them there. They haven't come yet, but they will come, right? My homework is not ready because I haven't finished it yet. That means that you will finish, but you are not sure when it happened. And also, it says that uh, they are not students in the garden. They have already entered. That means that the action had happened, but we don't know exactly what, right? We have affirmative sentences over there. Since I'm four, I will explain it later. So, till here. Do you have any question between the using already, yet, and also um, yet already and just? Is it okay for you? I just stopped sharing the screen. Thank you. Do you have any question? Okay. Thank you. If you didn't type your name over here in the part of chat, could you please type it to take list? Don't forget to take list, please. Write your name there if you didn't do it before. Misael. And who else? Anel has already taped it. It's it okay. Thank you so much. Could you please take just your name there? Now we have activities to do again during this week. We have different homework. I already received some mails, but also, as I told you. We have the platform pending for your participation in the Parton Forum. Remember that you have the whole week to do it and to participate, right? So, because of that, we are going to change a little bit the form that we are going to work for the next Saturday and at the end of the semester. Okay, pay attention, please. Pay attention because from this Saturday, our dynamic will change. So, the next Saturday until the end of the semester, we are going to start class at 9 o'clock, online class at 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock. I will explain the topic. I will let you to participate in the forum, okay? And then I will tell you the activities that we are going to, to do. And then you will work from 10 to 11. And at 11 o'clock, we are going to restart our online class to check the answers of the activities that you did. Did you listen how it's going to be the class? Yes? Could you please type over there that you listened? How it's going to be the dynamic of the class? Yes, for sure. The next Saturday, from the next Saturday and till the end of the semester, from the next Saturday and till the end of the semester, we are going to have our online class, our conference from 9 to 10. 
So from 9 to 10, I will explain you the topic again. You will have the video, but I will explain the topic. I will let you that you participate in the forum because you are not participate in the forum. So I will check that you participate, that you understand the topic, and then I will let you the activities that you will do from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. So you will work alone, if we can say it, from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And then at 11 o'clock, we are going to restart our online classes, our conference, to check the answers. Could you please type that you heard how it's going to be the activities from the next Saturday until the end of the semester? Okay, thank you. Could you please write the rest of the group to check that you understood how it's going to be, that you listened to instruction, just to be sure. Okay, thank you. Claudia, Jocelyn, Citlali, Miguel, thank you. The rest of the group. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So don't forget from the next class at 11, uh, sorry, at 9 o'clock, from 9 o'clock to 10 a.m., I'm going to explain the topic. I will see that you participate in the forum from 9 to 10 a.m. I will be here in a conference and then. From 10 to 11, you will work with the pages of the book, you will work with the online practice and all that. If you didn't send me the homework, you will have the opportunity to send me the homework. And then you will have the uh, online class again at 11, the conference again at 11 o'clock to check the answers of the activities, okay? So it is important that you are allowed that from the next Saturday, we are going to start at 9 o'clock. So wake up early, please, because you are not participating in the forum. We have just six participation during the whole week. From Monday to Saturday, we have just six participation. So I need that you practice and that you participate and that you be aware of that. So we are going to work in that form, right? So we're going to check, please, our uh, answers from our workbook and also our um, student book. We are going to start, please, checking page 62. Page 62. Page 62 of your book. I will share the screen with you to check the answers. Page 62 from your student book. Ready? We have over here. Perfect. It's great. So, over here we have internet activities. Complete the internet activities with the words in the box. Then listen and repeat it, right? We have over here commenting on a picture. You are over here uh, knowing this kind of vocabulary because you are a social media students, people, and teenagers that you already know about it. But it's important that we check the vocabulary. We have over here the word commenting on a picture, downloading music. Over here it says, I mean... And then we have posting a picture, sending an email, updating her antivirus software, using a search engine, and watching a video. So the first one, uh, we are using present perfect, and it says that he is playing an online, sorry, present progressive, and it says that he's playing an online game. The number two, it says that she is using a search engine. The number three, it says that she he is watching a video. 
Number four, it says, sorry, that she's sending an email. Number five, that over here, it doesn't seem well. It says that he is commenting on a picture. Number six, we have that she is updating her antivirus software. Number seven, it says that she is downloading music. Number eight, it says that he's aiming, he's coaching. Number nine, it says that he is posting a picture. So did you check the answers? Is it okay for you? Did you check the answers? Do we have the same answers? Yes, no, questions still here? Is it okay? Okay, we are going to continue checking the next page. That is page 63. We are going to start, okay, I'm going to wait because Camila is typing, so maybe you do have something to say. Is it okay, Camila? Question, something? Okay, thank you. So over here it's missing, let me see. We have 13 people here. We are 15. Okay, I will check the system in a minute. We are going to continue in page 63 with the exercise number one that it says choose the correct answers. We need to decide if we are going to use already, yet, according to your sentences or question form, and then we will check the answers, okay? Sorry, this one I will skip it because it's not important to say it. So it says that we usually put yet in yes no question and also in negative sentences and we usually put already in affirmative sentences. According to that, we are going to choose the correct answers and it says we have two options, already or yet. The first one is already sold, that it says that Darren hasn't read his emails yet. So that means that he will do it later. Clara? has posted the picture on her social social network page so we have already have you done your homework yet because remember that already just worked for affirmative sentences not for a question we haven't had dinner yet i have already or yet spoken to mia so the answer will be already and finally, it says that you are late. The test has started. So we have over here already because we are talking about affirmative sentences, right? The second exercise, it says that we need to write the sentences in correct order. So we need to pay attention. We are not changing anything. We just, we just need to reorder the sentences to have question forms or just negative or affirmative sentences using present perfect. So the first one will be that have you read Michael's blog yet in a question form. Number two, sorry, I have have over here already done my homework. Over here this one it's because that uh, they are joining the sentences, right? Just to be clear. The next one, number three, that says that the movie has already start. Hurry up. Have you met the new student yet? Number five, it says that Joe has already downloaded some songs. And number six, we haven't done the shopping yet, okay? Till here, questions. Let's see. Do you have the same answers? Did you check your answers? Is it okay for you?
Sorry, it's because it's it's just joined to sentences. It's just have done. Just that. It's because they, they got together the sentences, but it's just have done. Okay? It's not have have, it's just have done. Have already done. Exactly. Question still here? Did you check your sentences? Do you want to ask something? Is it okay for you? Do you hear? Do you have problems with already and yet and something like that? Is it easy for you? It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Now, in the next sentence, number three, or the next exercise, it says that write affirmative sentences with already or negative sentences with just no questions also using yet, right? I will share the screen with you. Let's see if we have the same answers. So first of all, we need to establish which kind of sentences we're going to have. The first one, it says that I have already made my bed. Number two, we have, have you seen Sally's new video yet? Number three, it says that Mike hasn't posted the picture of his birthday party yet because it's a negative sentence. The train hasn't arrived yet because also it's a negative sentence. We have already downloaded the new uh, Superman movie. It's affirmative sentence. And also, have you saved the document yet, right? We continue. In the exercise 4, it says that we need to look at Julia's list and we need to write sentences according to the activities that she has done or not, using also already or yet. And over here it says my course, and as we said, they are as the activity, the whole work, the responsibilities that we need to do at home. Okay? So over here, the number one, it says that she hasn't cleaned her room yet, right? Number two, it says that she hasn't done the shopping yet. The next one, it says that she has already finished her homework. Number four, it says that she hasn't, I mean, Anna about tonight yet. That is like, uh, I mean, it means that Facebook, the live or something like that, that you can see the people over there or in Mac, it's talked as, I don't know, video conference, yeah. um, something online that it's at the same time, synchronic conference, something like that. Number uh, five, it says that she has already posted picture on her blog because it's a affirmative sentence. Number six, it says that she hasn't bought mom's birthday present yet. Number seven, it says that she has already studied for the English test. So till here in these both activities, do you have any questions till here about the answers? Is it okay for you? Questions? Okay, perfect. That's well for me. You can see here. Perfect. It's clear. Okay, that's good for me. 
Okay, thank you so much. So let's continue with the next activity. Let's check the answers. That we have already here a text and we need to complete it using already, has, haven't, have already or yet. Already is going to be used three times. Yet it's going to be used twice. So according to the text it says and the other one just once. Hi Sylvia, we are having a great time in New York. We only arrived two days ago. So we use simple past because we have exactly the time. But we have already done some exciting things. I have already taken a lot of pictures, but I haven't posted them on my website yet. We have already visited the Statue of Liberty, but we haven't been to any museums yet because we have a negative sentence, right? We are planning to go tomorrow. On Friday, we are going to see War Horse on Broadway. We have already bought the tickets. I am very excited. Have you gotten your test scores? yet because it's a question for my brother has already already sorry received his and they aren't very good i hope yours better till here is it okay for you Okay, so the most important is that you are checking the answers and if you have any questions, you can tell me about it, right? So we can go to our workbook to check the answer, the possible answers that we have there. Thank you. So it will be page W34. Did you work on it? W34. Okay, thank you. W34. Exercise number one, and it says that we need to reorder internet activities. Just let me some seconds to open the presentation, and then we will have the possible answers there, right? Just let me have the presentation. It's okay over here. So. I will share the screen again with you. We are working on page W34, exercise one. We have uh, the words that are related with internet activities and we need to reorder them and complete the sentences. So I will start sharing the screen again with you. Perfect. So it says that, do you usually comment on your friend's picture? I download music to my MP3 player every week. The next one, it says that I don't often use email. I usually, I'm my friends. I can only play online games on the weekend. It's my parent rules. We'll post our class picture on the school website. I always use a search engine to do my homework. It is important to update your antivirus software regularly. How often do you send emails? I love watching funny cat videos online. So till here, I hope that it's it okay for you. The next one, in page W34, it says that uh, we need to complete the sentences 
using present perfect, yet and already, right? So in question form, and it says that, have you sent Alice an email yet? It's a question form. And the answer, it says, no, I haven't turned on the computer yet. Number two, it says, Pablo have his test scores. So has Pablo had his test scores yet? No. They haven't posted on the school um, website yet. Number three, it says, Silvia live uh, for Europe. So the question for me, it says that has Silvia left for Europe and yet, sorry, and the answer is no. She hasn't received her passport yet. The next one, it says you heard from Joe. So it says that have you heard from Joe yet? And the letter B, it says no, he hasn't called us yet. Till here, it's okay. Question, did you check the possible answers? Is it okay? Question, something? Thank you. Okay, perfect. So let's continue. Miguel, I saw that you were typing something. Do you want to say something? Do you have any question or something? Okay, but it's okay, it's W34 from our workbook. Is it okay? Perfect, thank you. So let's continue with exercise number three. And over there, uh, we are going to use already to answer the question, so let's see. The number one, or letter A, it says, when are you going to make your bed? And the answer is, I have already done it. When are you going uh, to take uh, the math test? I have already taken it, or taken the math test. Both answers are correct. Letter A, the next one, or number three, it says, when is Bruno going to to send those emails and it says that he has already sent them or he has already sent those emails and that's okay. The next one, number four, it says when is Anna going to write that letter and it says that she has or she apostrophe has and it's the same stuff already written, written it or written the letter, that letter. Okay, both answers are correct. When are you cousins going to leave? They have already left. And the next one it says, When are you and, and Mark going to see the movies? We have already seen it. Okay. Over here, I think that it's easy, right? Let's continue with an exer exercise that it's similar as we did in the last page when we use already or yet according to the list of the activities. And it says uh, things to do, download the X-Men movie, watch this video, post comments on blogs, check my emails, post some picture on Facebook, play the new online games, or visit my school website. So the first one, it says that he has already downloaded the X-Men movie according to the list. Okay, according to this list, we are not creating something else. We are working on the same stuff. The next one it says, he hasn't watched this video yet. 
because it's negative sentence. He has already posted comments on blogs. He hasn't checked my emails yet. He has already posted. Obviously, you can use Ben instead of using he, right? He has already posted some pictures on Facebook. He hasn't played the new online game yet. And he has already visited my school's website. Till here, it's okay for you. Questions still here? Did you check the answers? I know that I insist a lot of it, but it is important for me to be sure that you understand that. Okay, perfect. Is it okay, Misael, for you? Do you have any question? Did you check the answers? Something to say? Okay, perfect. So let's go please to our page 65. 65, thank you, thank you so much. Page 65 of your student book. Could you please tell me if you have already worked on it or not? 65, page 65 from your student book. Could you please tell me if you have already worked on it or not? Okay, thank you. So we just worked with uh, Jetten already, right? So let's continue, please, just to finish today in page 65, exercise number one, page 65, page 65 again, exercise number one. We are going to complete the sentences using present perfect form of the verb in parentheses. We can use the contraction form, right? So over here, the most important is that you have the present perfect using just 65 number one there are five sentences could you please answer it and then we will check it sixty five exercise one using just and present perfect structure please Could you please type when you finish? Just to check the answers, could you please type finish or something over here in chat? Thank you. Who else has finished?
Okay, thank you. So let's check the answers, right? Just let me get back to the part of just a little bit. So over here, let's continue with just. So we use just in affirmative sentences and just come after have or has and the verb over here. So have or has, right? So the number one, it says that my brother is very excited. He has just passed his driving test. Our team is winning. Diego has just scored a goal. They are not hungry. They have just had lunch. Number three, it says that I finished my homework. It was easy, so I have just finished my homework. Sally isn't there, so she has just taken the dog for a walk. And it's Liam's birthday today, so I have just sent him a message. That's message, okay? Exercise number two. And I promise that it will be the last one to finish. It says that we need to look at the pictures and write sentences with the words in the box and use the present perfect with just. Same page, say page 65, exercise number two. Could you please write a sentence using the verbs that we have there in the complement and present perfect according to the uh, picture that we have there? And with that, we are going to finish when we check the answers. Could you please type again when you finish? Yes, please. In the space, in the lines. No, 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 the answer is no. Could you please just write that you finished to check the answer, just that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So let's start checking the answers, right? And if you have any question, you can tell me, please. So let's check the answers, please. So it says that, that she has just found some money. He has just bought the groceries. Maybe it's she, right? It can be she or he. I don't know. Over here. Number two, it says that he has just broken a bottle. They have just missed the bus. It has just eaten a fish. And he has just had a swim. So it's it okay for you? Question still here? Questions? Something to ask?
Okay, thank you. It's okay, thank you. Thank you. So we have homework for the next class. Remember, at 9 o'clock, we're going to start our class, our online session, please. So the homework from the next class, it will be from our workbook. I will write it here. Workbook. It will be page W35. Exercise. Number five. Okay, workbook page W35, exercise five, in which you will write sentences using the structure just, and that's it. Okay, you will see some exercises there, but is uh, specifically for using for in scenes, and I will start the next class class already with that uh, topic. So don't worry, it will be just. Workbook, page W35, exercise 5. Obviously, on Monday, I will upload the video and the homework that belongs for the rest of the week. This one, because it's specifically for a, the use of just that we didn't work here, but we are going to do it the next Saturday without problem, right? So for the people who didn't uh, listen or who weren't here when I said the next class, we are going to start at 9 o'clock in a conference. So during the conference, you need to participate in the forum because you are not participating. Sorry for the people who are participating, but you are not doing during uh, the week. So we are going to be over here in an online station from 9 to 10. I will teach you the topic. We are going to participate in the forum together. We are going to uh, work in a worksheet if we have it. And then from 11 to 12, we are going to check the pages and also if you have any some questions, right? So till here, if you don't have any question, you can go. So Diego, you are typing. Do you have any question? If you didn't send me the homework, please, you have time to do it. I can receive it by email, so send me by email, I don't have problem. I will check it and when I check it, I will answer you, thank you, I receive it or something like that for being sure that I already checked your homework. I will write it over there. So just be patient because I will be working on that, right? So if you don't have any question until here, yes, I received it, Claudia, I, it's because I just started the conference when I saw it. But thank you, yes. Yes, also, you can use the platform. No, 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 Diego. I led you some uh, worksheet in Territorio. Okay, so you need to answer it. You just need to download the document. You can write it, print it, take a photo, write it over there. You can use the platform. You can send me by email. I check both. So if you are having trouble with the platform or to understand how to upload the homework, you can send me by email. I don't have problem with that, right? So we have finished today. You can go rest, have a nice weekend, and on Monday, check the activities, right? So take care and be safe. See you the next class at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, we change it. 9 o'clock, we are going to have double sessions each Saturday. See you. See you. See you.